so stupid like i'm really really scared of all that so how about i go last or not at all that's also really cool and go to actually present um the mitochondria might be the powerhouse of the cell um you know it was found out in 1802 like honey why are you reading from the board why are you wasting everybody's time like the lack of confidence like why it's a great suck it up for 30 seconds you'll be fine my next point of picking is to do a pinky pinky think of how that one person or person that makes everything close to right just doesn't do good work like oh you know today i'm really feeling like i'm not gonna be able to make it like life is just so freaking hard and i really don't know what to do like i feel so lonely i don't know what to do with my life like so you give them Dr. Phil quality advice and then they decide to say, I mean, but that sounds really, really hard and I don't think you really understand what's going on. Don't ask me for anything for the rest of the semester. Not only are you fighting for rewards, but you're also fighting for a degree. And everybody takes that to like the next level. Like, oh, I just made an A on my final. I'm passing everything. Like everything is just going great. And you're like, I mean, I got a few bumps in the road, but I don't think it's really worth. Oh my gosh, why are you me? It's hard. And it's like insufficient funds. Like, what? Why do I have to pay for laundry in the first place? Everybody needs fresh clothes. Or I hate when I go down to the laundry room. It never freaking fails. There's a girl or a boy, most likely a girl, who has 10 loads of laundry, knowing that it's only seven washers and five dryers. It takes up all of them. So you come back later on and her stuff is still in the washer. And you're just like, why are you taking up time? Why are you being so freaking inconsiderate? Then I hate when you time your laundry correctly to come downstairs so you can go put your laundry in the dryer or whatever. And someone has the audacity to move your stuff. Like, don't touch my stuff. You didn't buy it. You can't afford it. Why are you touching it? If you don't get your impatient behind on, Like, don't do stuff for me and then throw it back in my face. Like, if you, unless it's genuine, we can't be friends. Like, don't do stuff for me and then be like, oh, but I did this for you. I have good memory. I know what you did. And if I'm your friend, I'm going to do something in return at some given point. Don't hold it over my head. Like, I have to do something for you. Why is there a time limit? 
How about I just do it on my terms? And I hate when you can't go back on the test because it's just like, I might as well be taking a paper test, honestly. I don't know why we have to take online tests anyways. Why not just stick to paper since it's so complicated anyways and you want to add little fixtures on it. I'm not trying to see your fluffy little slippers walking around in a robe and stuff. And stop wearing your bonnets outside of the house. I don't understand why that is a thing. Fix your hair up. Pick out something nice. It's only going to take you a minute anyways. I'm sure everybody has a pair of joggers in their closet anyways. No one is trying to see your pajamas. This is not Victoria's Secret Runway. It was time, but you couldn't see the time. But when you can't see the time, it's like, I need to move through this because I'm on question three and there's only like 10 minutes left in the quiz. And it's a 25 question quiz. Then I hate how soccer professors make you use a lockdown browser. Like, honey, why do I have to download extra software? Or they'll be like, you can't go back on my test. Why? Like, why? There's no reason. Why can't I go back on your test? Online tests are easily the most forgettable things in a student's life anyways. Why do we have to take them? If you enjoyed this rant video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. And so to make sure to subscribe, you're going to need an empty container, a bunch of packets of sugar, oregano, and maybe any flavor of oil.